some activities that are unexplained, unexplained activities. <laughs> another mukbang well it's a little one i got me some chicken wings and some pickles and i got me some non-alcoholic sangria which is my first time trying i'm gonna try it and i'm gonna put me some craft craft classic ranch unexplained activities the men in black I can't open this. <laughs> the two mysterious men dressed in black suits visited the hotel looking for the witnesses. The men in black. Now, a lot of people have said that they've um, came across men that were in black long trench coats. They look very similar and they have black top hats. Some of them say they look unusual with no hair at all on any parts of their body. Then some people say, mm, they look like regular humans. So different people have said different things. I bet the men in black. Mm, these chicken wings are good. <laughs> I bought them. I didn't fry them myself. Different people have talked about the men in black and different occurrences, but nobody can really honestly say, is it true? Are there men in black? But they have been caught on tape that I've seen several times. And one family that was going to report um, an incident of them saying they were abducted, then the whole family just went absolutely quiet. They didn't want any questions anymore. They didn't want the newspaper around anymore. So she's one of the people that's seen the men in black. She is the man in black, actually. That, that. What you can? I said that. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of people have seen, have reported to seeing them, allegedly seeing them, and then went silent, quiet, and some of their memory was erased. But these are phenomenal, phenomenons of being part of an American. I don't know if any other country has seen the men in black, but I've always wondered if they were aliens, if they were part of the government, or if they're just a group of people trying to figure out what's going on in the world. Um, let me clean my throat. The next subject I wanted to talk about was the phenomenon of nature. These ice circles. Have anybody ever seen an ice circle? Like an icy lazy Susan a wintry carousel, a frozen spinning wheel. It takes a little more than an ice disc to capture public attention and imagination. One such ice disc befell. The town of Westbrook. Well, these ice circles have been seen and people can stand on them. They spin around, beautiful, amazing. And these are of nature and they're, the circumference is so 
precise that it just looks like it's been made from some type of um intelligent being but it, if it's nature that's made this precise circle and it's spinning amazing and i was like these are the amazing things that we don't really know about nature and what nature can do so we take our planet for granted mind you when we need our planet the most to survive and how powerful it is it is mm. So hard to talk when the food is so delicious. The next thing I wanted to talk about are UFOs, unidentified flying objects. Look at it, it's behind the tree. What is that? This cell phone video was captured by an Esquimalt man. He says he and his wife saw two strange objects darting around the night sky. It's been so good. I should have picked something else to eat and talk. It was just too good. I just bit my lip. <laughs> but UFOs, um, I myself have experienced seeing things that I couldn't explain flying in the sky or hovering in the sky. And sometimes I feel like safe and I feel that they're here to protect or I don't feel like a maliciousness from seeing things flying in the sky. I feel like it's a protection and I really don't feel anything malice but to me I just felt like safe and it was late night I also seen UFO just hovering in my backyard looking out the window I said what is that what is that and I said let me not look again I look out my back top story bedroom window I'm like it's still there it's just sitting there so I know a lot of people have seen things in the sky that they just cannot explain so that's what you know one of the things I was like I just don't know what this is so we call them unidentified flying objects or unidentified flying or could it be government related? Could the government have made something that we have, we're unaware of, that we don't know that exists? Um, that's part of not knowing the government. I believe the government is like in, in technology 20 years ahead of us. The next thing I'd like to talk about are sinkholes of nature. Where do they come from? How do they exist? How did it start? Are we doing something to the planet? Is the planet pulling apart like, it's, like it has in the past? What's causing these sinkholes to come out of nowhere? going down. Watch this. Literally sucked under as the ground below them collapsed. Oh the my video Lord. shows the entire area suddenly swirling and the water churning as the trees are gobbled. <laughs> I've never been in a place where they have sinkholes, but I I think that was your son. <laughs> but I have seen 
dozens of them on the news and I've seen a lot of them on the internet where people just losing entire homes in five to 10 to 15 minutes it seems like. Mm -hmm. It's just the time on the planet where it has to change because everything changes. Nothing stays the same. So maybe it's just that time to change on the planet. I love pickles. I love pickles. <laughs> I'm in a really good mood today. Let me clear my mouth. But kiss team. I don't have a napkin. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for showing love. Thanks for all the good comments that I've been receiving. I haven't had any thumbs down lately. And I guess that's over. I went over that hill. But everybody, have a wonderful day, evening, morning.